What is, what is up, everybody? Chris Jardine here, a.k.a. Snaggle J. I don't want to disturb anybody who may be trying to multitask and watch the stream, so I'm going to speak very quietly. Um, it's going to be like, like, I wouldn't call it ASMR, but like, we're going to just, we're going to, we're going to keep it cool. We're going to keep, we're going to keep it quiet. And we're going to, we're going to, we're going to hype it up. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to hype it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week in Perfect Team. I am Chris Jardine, a.k.a. Snaggle J, Director of Live Content Services for Out of the Park Baseball. It is episode number 99. It is November 19th, 2020. The last episode of the two digits before next week's giant TWIPT episode number 100. We've got a brand new set of content going into packs tonight. Um, taking a look at some hardware heroes. Uh, for those people who have been asking, we also have some pack-based missions that are going to be going in uh, tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern time, so in about an hour's time. Um, and uh, again, for those of you who aren't familiar, pack-based missions are relatively easier missions um, that will pay packs uh, as rewards instead of cards. Um, and I think there's 11, 10 or 11, um, I think there's 10 or 11 altogether. It's either 10 or 11. Uh, but there's some historical and diamond packs. Uh, there's some historical and diamond packs up for grabs. If you're looking for historical and diamond packs, we're going to be able to cash some in uh, here later on. And they fit the theme of the stream, which is Hardware Heroes. We got Again, we got a brand new 12-pack of Hardware Heroes that are going to be going in packs in 57 minutes' time. We're going to reveal them. We're going to talk about them all tonight. Um then we're going to go hang out with DRC Nomads and Your Kidneys as they break it all down on TWI, TWIPT. They've been doing a fantastic job. Uh, yeah, Turk Wendell incoming. All the greats who wore 99. Turk Wendell, Mitch Williams, Manny Ramirez. Anybody, anybody else? Verdugo, there you go. Um, later on in the show... I am going to be telling you guys everything that we're going to be doing next week. Next week's show is going to be the biggest show ever. Not even close. It's the 100th episode of TWA. Yeah, Hyunjin Ryu. Duh. How can I forget? Um, next week's episode is going to be a massive celebration of Perfect Team, of the community. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be talking about that at the end of the show. Um... Lots of fun things going on. We're right in the middle of PTCS season right now. Um, the first qualifiers finished up last week. The next qualifier is next Saturday. You can head over to the forums, forums at ogbdevelopments.com. Go to the Perfect Team section. You can find all uh, 48 teams who qualified from the first group. We have, we'll have 48 more uh, qualifiers next week. And then the finals... Uh, we'll be going on December 12th, 10th, 10th, December 10th, December 10th. That's a Saturday, right? No, it's December 12th. I was right the first time. Uh, December 12th uh, will be, um, we didn't do a stream for the first round. To be, to be fair, we didn't do a stream for the first round last time either. We did a little recap show and uh, we were all busy on Saturday. So we just kind of tweeted out the results, put them on the forums and called it good. Uh, but we will be streaming the finals, uh, similar to what we did last time on December 12th, probably starting around 1 Eastern. Uh, we got to figure it, we got to figure that out uh, to what time. We'll have more details about that later. Later, later, later. We're going to, uh, we're going to be talking about that later on. Uh, yeah. What else is going on? Lots of fun stuff going on. Um... I think I talked about all the fun stuff already. Uh, it's snowing here. 
that's fun, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, I do want to, I did shout it out at the beginning of the stream, but we hit 5,500, 5,500 followers here on Twitch, uh, just before the stream started. So thank you guys so much as always for the continued never ending support of the Twitch channel, of all of our social media channels, uh, to be honest. Uh, we had Jeff McNeil of the New York Mets, uh, on stream with Rich last night. That was a lot of fun. I was lurking in the chat for a little bit during that one. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Thank you so much to Jeff uh, for coming on and spending some time with us last night. And his dog, Willow, the dog made an appearance. Love to see that. We're always a very animal-friendly um, animal friendly channel. Um, so uh, that was a lot of fun for sure. I really enjoyed doing that. Hopefully we can do more stuff like that in the future. I know Rich may or may not have something else cooking. Who knows? Always got irons in the fire here at OOTP chat. Um, so yeah, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed watching it. Thank you for everybody who came out last night and enjoyed that stream. By the way, um, if you guys have not been watching my Perfect Team Pack Only uh, series, um, over on YouTube.com slash OOTP Developments, every Monday I post a new video of my Pack Only Perfect Team uh, go check it out. I think there's 11 or 12 episodes of it now. Uh, go check it out. I appreciate all you guys' feedback. we got a wonderful group of people who are watching it and commenting it and providing wonderful suggestions every week that I just blatantly ignore and uh, continue to troll around in the um, uh, bronze level. So, yeah. All right. Let's get into it. Um, let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. A brand new set. Of Hardware Heroes. Again, these cards will go in packs 52 minutes time uh, at 11 p 10 p.m. It's 11 p.m. my time. 10 p.m. Eastern, 8 p or 9 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Mountain, 7 p.m. Pacific. I don't know if that's right. I think that's right. Uh, 11.30 in Newfoundland and Labrador, along with the brand new pack-based missions that we have going tonight as well. Let's start it off with some hot fire bronze action mm. Mm. it is bullet joe bush of the new york yankees checking it at a 66 bronze this is the 1922 version of bullet joe bush when he led the league with a 788 uh winning percentage and finished fourth in the m VP voting. Uh, 77 stuff, 39 movement. Woo -hoo -hoo. Uh, 58 control, fastball, curveball, change up, fork ball. If you need a fork ball at the bronze level, hit a. I, listen, I went on the record in the Discord today. If you play silver and gold tournaments, you're going to want to watch really closely the rest of the stream. I mean, this will play in bronze tournaments too. To a certain extent. Uh, so 1922 Yankees bullet Joe Bush with the 61 contact. Get him in those, uh, get him in those no DH tournaments. He can swing the twig a little bit. He can, uh, he can swing the twig a little bit, uh, with the 61 contact. Only one power. So he's a strictly contact hitter. Strictly contact hitter, 100%. But, bullet Joe Bush in the game. Next up, we got another bronze. This time, it's Bobby Shantz. And you shan't be disappointed at this bronze reliever. Man, oh man, oh man. Closer Bobby Shantz. Now, Shantz was actually a... Uh, Shantz was actually a very accomplished starter. Early in his career, he won 24 games in 1952 and was the MVP in 1952. But this is his 1963 card with the St. Louis Cardinals. He won a gold glove that year, which is extremely interesting because how often do you see relievers win gold gloves? Not very often. 
75 soft, 55 movement, 86 control, fastball, curveball, changeup, knuckle curve. Uh, pretty even splits. He's got one point higher stuff and movement versus righties control is the same. You shan't be disappointed at the bronze level with Mr. Bobby Chance. Yeah, pitcher defense is weird. I mean, to be fair, gold glove voting in Major League Baseball, not always indicative of the best fielders. I don't know if that's breaking news to everybody out there, but historically, gold glove voting in Major League Baseball history may be slightly flawed a little bit. Maybe. It has gotten better in the last few years. I agree. They should let us vote for gold gloves. The snaggle gold glove. What what medal of glove could I give out? The snaggle aluminum glove. I guess. Anyway, Bobby Shantz in the game. Let's keep on keeping on. And let's go to a hot silver, ladies and gentlemen. Hot silver Max Carey. This is 1925-73 overall. Max Carey. He led the league in stolen bases in 1925. 69 contact, 73 gap power, 45 power, 62 I, 80. Avoid K's uh, with the right hand heavy on the old splitterinos, 72, 78, 47, 65, 83, huge, uh, huge boost to the right hand split, 74 speed, 89 steel, like 92 base running. Man, oh man, not, not, not great on the old defense, unfortunately. And to be fair, he was a negative D-wire player in 1925. Actually, he was a negative D-wire player for his career. He was a he was a negative negative D-wire player for his career. So, you know, not not surprising that his defense is slightly lacking. Which happens. Drew Carey rating. Exactly. There you go. Let's keep on keeping on. 1925 Max Carey is in the game. Next up, we've got... Oh, baby. I love this card. I am on the record saying I absolutely love this card. This is going to be a silver meta card to the max. 1959 Nelly Fox. 70 contact. 74 gap power, 10 power, 55 by 93 avoid Ks. Uh, the splits, kind of a mismatch. You got seven points higher contact versus lefties, uh, 16 point higher gap power versus righties. We're not going to talk about the power. The I is 12 points higher against righties. The avoid Ks is, uh, what is that, uh, 19 points higher against lefties. So you get a little bit of a balance kind of all over the road here in terms of in terms of your splits um you got and then for a silver level card you have some pretty elite defense for a card that finds itself a 79 overall or less 97 rating at second base 80 range 91 error 76 arm 83 turn double play he was he was mvp in 1959 which is interesting cuz he had you don't how many mvps in the history of baseball, had two home runs. I don't know the answer, but someone's going to look it up on StatHead, our wonderful friends over at Baseball Reference and their StatHead service. Somebody is going to go look it up and find out how many guys have been MVP who are not pitchers, no cheating, who had two home runs or less. My guess, my guess would be not a lot. Would be 
I would guess not a lot. He also won a gold glove. <laughs> no, I'm not even going to click on that article because I'm like, is Nelly Fox number one? So here's the thing. Pack Drop Me makes a great comment. He won MVP in 1959. He's 77 in the game. Who said anything about MVPs have to be great? Go look at his stat line. He had two home runs. He had five stolen bases. He hit 306. He didn't strike out a whole lot. Both of those things are reflected on this card. He had a great glove. That's reflected on the card too. Just because somebody won an MVP doesn't make a great perfect team card. I'm just saying. One does not equal the other. One to, they're not they're not an they're not a one to one relationship. MVP is a writer voted award. In reality, they should let perfect team pick the MVPs. The author of that list hates Will Clark. I'm not even giving them the dignity of clicking on it. Will Clark is a god. Just saying. I don't know if I've ever gone on the record about that. Anyway, back to the task at hand. 77 Nelly Fox in the game. Let's keep on keeping on. My man, George Bell. 1987 American League MVP. Maybe another guy who didn't deserve to be American League MVP that particular year. But it's George Bell. He was an all-star, a silver slugger. He was MVP. He led the league with 134 RBIs and 369 total bases as well. 72 contact, 60 gap power, 94 power, 28 I, 61 avoid case. That's pretty much it. That's, that's pretty much it. MVP George Bell. He was... The first MVP in Toronto Blue Jays history. Now, see, this This is where... This is where... Now, you guys are bringing DRC and Kidneys crap. Bird profile. W profile. You know, pie profile. I don't want to hear that. Save that for TWI, TWIPT. Kidneys and DRC with their funny, cool kid Zoomer catchphrases. Bird profile. Pie pro uh, Upside down W profile. This to me looks like a, the Bob Ross profile. Because you got some sap green. You got some phthalo blue. Uh, you got a little bit of, you got a little bit of yellow up there. This is the Bob Ross profile. It's very multicolored. And it goes nice together. That's what I'm calling it. So there you go. And yeah, there's a happy little tree right here. The 67, that's a nice green tree. I think it works. I think it works. It's not Bob Ross slander. I love Bob Ross. I watch it like every day. Let's keep on keeping on. Oh, another nice looking gold, potentially gold Meta, maybe. If, the D, if, if you're looking for a speed and defense player in the gold level, you got yourself a Paul Blair. In 1969, Paul Blair, he was a gold glover, obviously, which is indicated by right up here. Uh, 67 contact, 73 gap power, 78 power, 35 I, 65, avoid Ks. Uh, again, the splits kind of all over the place. You got three points contact versus lefties, 17 points gap power versus lefties, 13 points power versus righties, uh, seven points of I versus righties, but it's not good either way. And then you get 15 points of avoid case versus lefty. You get 71 speed, 77 steel, 74 base rank, and then the elite gold level center field defense, 103 range, 87 error, 81 arm. Probably going to be... A card that a lot of people who play gold tournaments, cap tournaments, whatever kind of tournaments you think you you can make uh, use of him in, 
probably going to have a lot of people uh, trying to pull down this Paul Blair. I think the only other Paul Blair, I think this is the first packable Paul Blair card. Uh, I think the other Paul Blair card is a tournament reward, which by the way, I believe is the reward in the weekly Diamond SE tournament, uh, which is scheduled to start pretty soon. So funny, funny how that works. Why not Paul Bart? I mean, one was a baseball player. One was a mall cop. I mean, I think. I mean, mall cop is athletic. But I don't know how mall coppery translates to perfect team. I don't know how, I don't know how we make that work. Anyway, 1969. Nineteen sixty nine center fielder Paul Blair gonna be coming to PAX later on this evening. Next up, we've got Aaron Hill. First Aaron Hill card of the year. That's right, we got another new packable card. Aaron Hill. This is 2012 Arizona Diamondbacks. Aaron Hill, he won a silver slugger. In 2012, 72 contacts, 70 gap power, 73 power, 47 eyes, 65 avoid case. Very balanced in the splits. Only a 2.4 point even. Uh, the only thing difference, big difference is eye, where he has 11 points better eye against lefties. Avoid case is two points as well. Um, and you got some pretty good defense at second base. 95 uh, positional rating, 81 range, 83 error, 77 error, 83 turn double play not a not a bad look at card again this is one of those things where you know he had a pretty good year that year by far well i wouldn't say by far the best year of his career i think if you were looking at the best year of his career 2009 probably would have been the one uh when he had 36 home runs with that that 09 jays that just pretty much crushed everything um but I, and a very interesting very interesting little uh, Aaron Hill card here. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, you got one more gold. And probably, again, another one that you guys are going to want to look at. This time, we've got another new card in the Perfect Team universe. This time, it is Tim Leary of the 1988 Los Angeles Dodgers. 1988 was pretty much a banner year, probably the best year of Tim Leary's career. Uh, 17 and 11, he went th that year, 291. But the reason he's on this list is he won a silver slugger, hence the 53 contact rating. He won the National League pitching silver slugger that year. He hit 269. He was 18 for 67 on the season, uh, picking up a silver slugger. But again, pretty good season all around. And for a gold card, not bad. 86 stuff, 70 movement, 76 control. Fastball, curveball, slider, forkball. Got the 90 stamina, the 53 contact. So again, could be, uh, could be interesting to see how people deploy. Leary, I think he, I think he definitely will be in the gold starter conversation. Um, to be fair, uh, I think I think a lot of people are going to be, you know, looking at this. Pro he's probably going to be. I I don't know where he ranks. I couldn't like number one to whatever. I don't think, you know, you could say uh, I'm not that familiar with it, but I think he would probably be in the top five or six conversation for sure. Um, but you guys know that better than I do. And I'm sure that DRC and kidneys are going to break that all down on TWI and TWI PT starting right after this episode of TWI PT. So make sure you stick around for that, for all the smart person analysis on how you can deploy these cards. Let's keep on keeping on. And next up, we've got 1993 Kevin Apier 
of the Kansas City Royals, not with cheese. Pretty good, uh, pretty good season for Apier. Led the league in ERA, ERA plus, FIP, and home runs per nine. Right hand heavy on the splits, though, big time. He's 83, 82, 61 overall, but 87, uh, 90, 63. Uh, fastball, curveball, slider, forkball, 89 on the stamina. We do not update missions retroactively outside of the live uh, series. That policy will not be changing. Um, so missions like face of the franchise are already locked and they will not be changing. Uh, so there you have it. 1993 Kevin Apier in the game. Let's keep on keeping on next up. We've got a man with more gold gloves than he knows what to do with. It's Jim Cott. The man who owns not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not 10, not 15, but 16. He's the 16 time. Woo! 16 time gold glove winner, Jim Cott. This is a peak card because again, the dude was a hardware hero his whole career. 78 stuff, 85 movement, 94 control. You look at versus the lefties, 86, 93, 97. Fastball, sinker, curveball, slider, splitter, 81 stamina, 129 defense. And then 38 contact and 60 power. Was Jim Cott uh, some sort of savant hitter? He hit 185. He did a 16. Jim Cott, a little known fact. Confirmed right now on Baseball Reference, the proud owner of 16 career home runs. So not only did he have the 16 gold gloves, but he also had 16 home runs. So there you go. The 16-time gold glove champion. Jim Cott. It turns out if you mute the site, it doesn't matter what the volume is. That's great. Also, if you mute the site, you don't count as a viewer. So, I mean, it's one of those things. Twitch does not count muted things as a viewer. Here's the thing. I will address this once and once only. I understand there are people out there that do not like the way I present the stream. That's fine. I don't care. This is who I am. I love doing the show. If you like it, that's fine. If you don't like it, that's fine too. If you prefer to watch Alex or TJ or Rich or whoever else on some bland channel that has no energy and no excitement and no hype, I'm okay with that. I don't care. Every time you come here on Thursday night, this is what you're going to get. I don't give a crap. This is me. I don't know what you guys want. It's one of those things. I understand I'm not for everybody. I get that. But being a dink in chat and posting, you know, oh, it turns out if you mute the tap, you know what, man? Just go somewhere else. If you're only here for the free packs, then just don't. Just, just don't. It's really not a big deal. It's it's really it's it's fine. I'm not I'm not hurt. I'm not hurt by it. I'm not hurt by it, guys. It's okay. It's one of those things. I love doing the show. I'm really excited for next week. I'm really excited for this week. It's one of those things. And we got the 16 time. The 16 time. Woo! Jim Cott. Where's my mask? Uh, my mask is over there. It's over there. It's not a safe for work mask, though. Not a safe for work mask. Safe, uh, you know, one of those, uh, 
It's not a it's not a uh, face covering mask. It's a wrestling mask. So we have Jim Cott. Let's keep on keeping on down the list of uh, of cards here. Next up, we've got two thousand and nine Joe Mauer. Joe, what's the hat tonight? Durham Bulls. Durham Bulls. Durham Bulls. Uh, Joe Mauer, back-to-back twins. Where's my twins fans in chat? Any twins fans in chat? 89 contact, 54 gap power, 84 power, 58 eyes, 69 avoid Ks. Uh, got the right hand splits, right hand splits, 90, 57, 90, 61, 66. I'm a big Maurer fan. Uh, big Maurer fan. He was an MVP, three-time gold glove, won three batting titles, six-time all-star, five-time silver slugger. Not a bad, not a bad career for Maurer. I hope he's doing well in his post baseball career um just an all around jim cott should be in the hall of fame i was looking at that today for a project i was looking up a, a, a project a pr- project anyway Mauer, Hardware Heroes, 2009, in the game. You love them. I love them. Everybody loves them. Let's see where we at. Now, so I guess, uh, by process of elimination, by process of elimination, we only have one card left. Uh, and that card, listen, I have a roundabout weird way of making this card work okay what i want to do is i want to one in the chat if you've ever played mike tyson's punch out or the more friendly named punch out featuring mr dream one in the chat if you've ever played mike tyson's punch out okay that's a lot of ones so if you're familiar with Mike Tyson's punch out, you know the real, the real king, the real guy with the hardware in Mike Tyson's punch out is King Hippo. He's the only guy in the game that wears a crown. Yes, once you knock him down, he can't get up. But in reality, the only royalty, the only hero in Mike Tyson's punch out was King Hippo. So, in that spirit, tonight's main event card is Hippo Vaughn. 97 Diamond Hippo Vaughn. Now, he is a hardware hero. He is one of the very few pitchers in baseball history to win a triple crown, which he did in 1918 with 22 wins, a 174 ERA, and one hundred and forty eight strikeouts winning the triple crown uh in 1918 uh left hand starter 98 stuff 91 movement 83 control fastball curveball change up he's got the reverse splits reverse splits as well uh 98 92 83 so slightly better versus righties uh, for all of them. So not only do you get the left-handed starter that I only get 37 DMs uh, per day about we need more lefty pitchers, but he has reverse splits on top of that. So there you go. Our hardware hero set, which will be available in packs in about 25 minutes. Uh, Aaron Hill, Kevin Apier, Hippo Vaughn, Joe Maurer, Jim Cott, Tim Leary, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Shantz, George Bell, Paul Blair, Max Carey, Nellie Fox, and Bullet Joe Bush. So again, 
these 12 cards plus uh, the pack based missions will be going live in uh, about 25 minutes time. A very interesting little set. Now, before everybody goes, before everybody goes, I promised you earlier in the evening, um, I would tell you guys what's going to be happening on next week's TWIP T100 extravaganza. So, okay, somebody time out Walnut for the rest of the stream, just because. Now you just now you just trolling and being annoying. <laughs> no, there's no phone call. There's no more. Uh, there's no more cards. Don't actually time them out. I'm just joshing around. There is there is no more cards tonight. Um. So, originally, I said last week, um. The missions are just pack reward ones. I never said anybody what they were. You'll see them at 10 p.m. I'm not giving the details of what they are because everyone's going to run to the auction house and buy all the cards in advance. That's not how that works. So you'll find out what's in the... Um... Uh, guys, the stream next week is Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern time. I am not changing it. I know it's American Thanksgiving, but I have a life. I have a other job. I have a family. I'm not rearranging my schedule. Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. I understand if you can't make it because it's a holiday. The archive is available immediately afterwards and it'll be on our YouTube channel on Friday morning. We are not changing the stream. I know people ask me that, but it's not changing. Anyway, I understand that some people can't make it. That's why we have archives. The archives go to YouTube. Like you, you're not going to miss anything, other than the you know the live content, of course. I'm not American. I don't care about American Thanksgiving. It's Thursday to me. Again, and uh, to be fair, and, and you guys are bordering on being disrespectful. By forcing me to try to change it. I'm not changing it. It's not happening. It's a non-discussion. I understand if you can't make it. But when people brought it up a month ago, we discussed it internally. We decided to keep it on the regular time. So, now, what I was going to say... Um, what I was going to say is I was originally planning on doing uh, one thing. I had said last week that the TWIPT 100 was going to be, um, you know, a, a celebration of the community and the 100 episodes and how we got to this point and, and all the, the stuff that had happened along the way. And so originally I was going to do another community request battle. Um, so like we did, um, like we did, uh, you know, earlier in the summer or the late spring where we had 24 cards and they were in matchups of two and people voted on them and who are the 12 won. We, we were going to do that again. And then I got to thinking, well, it doesn't seem fun. Um, it doesn't seem fun that I have to like on the 100th episode, like eliminate 12 cards. So next week we are going to have 24 <laughs> brand new community requested cards, 24 submissions made by you guys, the perfect team universe, uh, Again, instead of doing the big battle, we're just going to drop them all. Less work for me, more cards for you guys. So we're going to have 24 brand new community requested cards that are going to be going into the game. But, but that's not all. 
we're also going to have the first five achievement unlocked rewards. Achievement unlocked is our final mission reward program. It is four sets of five uh, reward cards. We're going to be releasing the first five missions and the associated reward cards for that next week as well. But wait! There's more! So not only are we going to have 24 brand new community requested cards, not only are we going to have the first five achievement unlocked reward cards, we're also going to reveal the PTCS Ultimate Reward Card live on stream it's next Thursday night. 24 brand new community requested cards. The uh, first five achievement unlocked reward cards will be revealed. And we will also reveal the PTCS Winter Series Ultimate Reward Card. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's going to be a good time. I hope you guys are going to come by. Uh, it's going to be, again, it, it's, it's going to be a celebration of the first hundred episodes. Uh, this show wouldn't be what it is if it wasn't for you guys. I mean, there's 700 people here right now. There's hundreds of people who watch the VOD, who live in time zones that they're not able to watch it right now, who live in Europe and who live in Asia and, and who cannot watch it right now. Um, so, you know, every week it's just amazing uh, what you guys do and the support that you guys, um, you guys do. We're going to, we're going to have a big perfect points giveaway next week too. I don't know how much, maybe we'll give a million points away. Maybe we'll give a million points away next week just for fun. I don't know. We'll see. But we're going to we're going to, we're going to give away some points next week as well. Everybody except Walnut is going to be eligible to win the points. Walnut is not eligible to win anything uh, ever again. Mods, make a note of that. Walnut banned from all giveaways from now on. Um, so we'll have to make sure that we get that. We have to get that rigged up. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be. That's true. You never win anyway. That's fair. That's 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 fair. So that's gonna be next week. TWIPT number one hundred. Um. And then, of course, we got the brand new cards, which will be in packs in 15 minutes' time. Uh, I'm just going to assume that DRC and kidneys are ready to go. Free walnut. Oh, does not start that again. Come on. I did my part there. So that is going to do it for me. That's going to do it for this episode of TWIPT. Um... That's going to do it for this episode of This Week at Perfect Team. Again, we're going to go hang out uh, with DRC Nomads and your kidneys over at a TWI, TWIPT. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Thursday. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, it's going to be an amazing, amazing stream next week. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you guys will come by. Uh, it's going to be a 25 out of 10 uh, on the hype meter. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Uh, guys, make sure you guys follow the channel here at twist.tv slash OTP developments. I appreciate it. Turn those notifications on to make sure you guys don't miss a stream ever, ever, ever. Uh, make sure you follow us everywhere else on the internet as well. Basically, just go to any uh, uh, trolling. I mean, that's what I do. I'm the ultimate number one all-time troll, biggest troll on the internet. Uh, and I enjoy doing it. I, I you know, I, It's my favorite thing. America hates me. That's tough. Until next week, I am your very Canadian director of live content services, Chris Jardine, AKA Snaggle J. And until next time, keep swinging for the fences.